Good morning, everybody. It is bright and early this morning. I am very much half asleep right now, but I thought that I would pick up the camera and start this week's vlog now and make a cup of tea together. Does anyone else just have a mug that definitely makes a better tea than any other mug? Because this is her. She does it. I don't know why, but when I have a tea in it, comes out so much better. <laughs> I would love to know what is your cup of tea of preference because I feel like this is a big subject, especially for a, a Welsh person. And I am mainly Welsh and we pride ourselves in a good cup of tea. So I am all about the Earl Grey. It's on different levels, Earl Grey. I'm a milky person. <laughs> I think that's what the dilemma is that everyone always has very different tastes in is what colour your tea is and mine is pretty white. <laughs> Oat milk, one sugar, Earl Grey, pink mug, best thing ever. So we're starting our day with that because I am up right and early this morning because I'm heading to London for a shoot. So I thought we could get ready together. I don't really know what exactly I'm gonna film in this vlog, but I think I'll just film throughout the week some different bits. I usually actually choose not to vlog my shoots anymore because they're so hectic anyway. Just, it becomes a bit of a shambles in my brain. <laughs> but I also decide to take my camera with me too. But I'll just film some little bits and then carry on the vlog after. All right, this is the cup of tea. This is how she looks. Very milky. <laughs> Let's go sit down on the sofa. I have a confession, which I don't know how much to talk about on here yet because I, I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things that, oh, I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> Basically, I don't know how much I love <laughs> running a product business anymore, as in like where you physically have a product. So obviously I've got my app business as well, which a tech business is very different to a product business. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore bluey and the products with all my heart it's just the owning it which i just oh i don't know i've been back and forth for a while on i'm a little bit embarrassed to even talk about this at all on here because i think it sounds quite naive and silly that <laughs> I mean, it doesn't because the thing is you have to kind of learn what you like, what you enjoy and sometimes things just don't work out. There is nothing that's happened, by the way, with Bluey at the moment where it's, you know, coming to an end or anything like that. But I've just been thinking since becoming a mum, I think, particularly whether running it and being like the owner and the business owner is where my heart lies. Because don't get me wrong, the creative bit, the shoots, the planning the campaigns, the products when they actually come out and I see them on people and I wear them, love that bit. But like the responsibility and the stress of owning a product business, I don't know, it's, it's <laughs> I just don't know if my heart's there. And <sighs> because I, I don't know if it makes sense what I'm saying as well with a product versus the tech business because I actually love owning my app beyond. It's based around, I mean, Bluey is kind of based around fitness, but in a different way where it's like, it's not a physical product and I get to like keep building on the app and creating things for it all the time. And I have a team that massively deal with the back end and the business side of it. So I feel like a little bit less on beyond. I have to focus on like, the finances, the manufacturing and all of, there's just a lot more that goes on behind the scenes because it requires like third parties a lot more when you're shipping things from like Portugal and you're dealing with lots of different people where a lot of things go wrong. Whereas the tech business is just within my team and that's it. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether it's very professional of me to talk about this. I just, I just don't know if my heart lies in the owning side. I'd love to just be the creative director, but I'm also the owner. And <laughs> I don't think there's anything I'd do about that now. I also always worry that we got in the gym wear field a little bit late because it's a very saturated market and being a small business, we're nearly two now, which is still young and there's still loads of time, but just being a small business in this climate, it's just difficult. And I think anyone with a small business would say the same, like it's just a difficult time for smaller businesses. I think it's just the fact as well that I just don't know if I have the huge energy to like put my heart into 
the business side of it, which is the thing I need to do for it to like progress onto the next stage. And the other thing I keep saying to myself is, okay, so say it did and it became like this huge, huge team. Like my team is small and they're amazing, but if it became huge and it had a huge office and like the thought of that makes me so nervous. <laughs> And I just don't know if I want like that going into the office every single day job either. And I don't know if it would be feasible anymore with being a mum to Winnie at this age, particularly. So I just don't know if it's all like fallen in kind of the wrong timing. I don't know. There's a big backstory to Bluey and like where it began and why it began the way it did where it was just owned by me, which I can't really fully go into because it would be unfair on other people involved. But it's not the way it should have been set up, I don't think. I should have done it with a business owner who took part responsibility. Because <laughs> being the sole owner, I feel like, is the thing that is just like, oh, I don't know if I'm cut out for it. <laughs> anyway, that is my confession this morning. <laughs> I feel like I can share this here because I do feel like you guys are really nice and not judgy. <laughs> I think it's just the fact that I can't put all my energy into it because I'm a mum to win and I want to make sure I'm putting enough energy into that, into my app, into my other work because there's other things I'd love to do just like under my name that require me to push myself in a creative way, in a personal way with like more in-person things that I would love to do but then also owning a clothing company on top of that I'm wanting it, because at the moment, it being the size it is, it's very difficult to make a good profit at all, really. You know, we just about break even, slight profit. It's expensive when you're smaller. It requires more funding, which I'm not sure I want to risk now in this stage I'm in. And so I feel like the times have fallen a bit funny where I'm just not in the position I want to be in to put in, you know, all of our money to give it the chance to become a bigger business, but then do I even want that? Cause do I even want, <laughs> do I even want, I love it at the stage it is, but it's just, there's not any space to like make any profit really, especially when you want to do it recycled and sustainable, <laughs> which is what I decided to do, which I'm really glad we have done. I'm really proud of it, but it's just, anyway, I wasn't planning on making this a really long conversation. I'm sorry guys. Louis is still here absolutely love it the next collection is actually going to be amazing but i'm just thinking long term term business wise is it am i being honest if oh, i don't know i don't know i'm gonna be so nervous to put this in my vlog because i don't want it to sound like bluey is ending because it isn't and we are so fortunate we've got such lovely customers that do sell it out but we're still just not in this place where i can see where it's going long term without putting every penny that we have into it which i don't know i want to risk being a mum now. I don't know. I think I need an investor, don't I? <laughs> anyway, we are going to a shoot today and I'm really excited to show you the next collection and what we've been working on because it's going to be really, really good. And I love the shoots, that's the bit. I just love, love like directing and then seeing everything come to life. But I'm going to drink my Earl Grey. It's strangely not cold because it's such a big cup, I think. Guys, you know what I just realised? <laughs> I have just put on for the first time since giving birth. Oh god, sorry, the, the nips and nipping, it's really cold. <laughs> We've all seen a nipple, don't we? We've all got nipples, in fact, so I always find it funny that people get so worried about when you can see a nipple. Even men have them. <laughs> I gave birth in this top. <laughs> you know what, I, I plan to like wear a proper swimming costume, like have a birthing outfit. Definitely all goes out the window when you're giving birth, but yeah. Fun fact, this was all I was wearing when I gave birth, just this top. <laughs> very comfy top as well. <laughs> anyway, I'm just getting myself dressed. I feel very glowy and tanned. I put a second layer of tan on last night, which I haven't done actually for a while. I only really do one layer these days because I can't be bothered. But because it's shoot day, we have a special occasion to look extra. I look awful right now, please excuse the hair, obviously. <laughs> There's like no point in doing hair and makeup before a shoot because you go into glam when you get there. But um, yeah, feeling an extra tan today, which feels very nice. I used to do this all the time back in the day before I was pregnant, because when I was pregnant, I could never be asked to upkeep the tan that much. But 
does make such a difference when you feel tanned and glowy, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna get in the car with Carl and we're gonna head to London. Carl is mine and Niall's videographer, by the way. That's why he's coming because he is filming the campaign with me and me and him have come up with this concept, which I feel like is gonna be so cool of like an old fashioned love film. You know, like how they used to have those credits that were like, dun, 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 go three, two, one, and then it would be like, like old school love music in black and white and it was a bit jittery. I think that for our campaign. We've got lots of cool props as well that I've like DIY'd. Yeah, let's go to the shoot. I'm excited. I know after that conversation downstairs it might sound like I'm not, but I actually adore this part of the business. I'm in the room, it's a typical Tuesday night. I'm listening to the kids. <laughs> I am. I like a chorus. I'm like, what's going on? This is like the pinnacle of Taylor. Uh, Kelly Clarkson, she uh, was yeah, the she's best a, yeah, she's back sick. in the day. But you're pretty messed up too. These were the kind of lyrics that were always in my MSN bio. <laughs> you're home in your bio. I don't write anything in my bio. What lyrics? No, like. What did you have in there? I didn't have anything. BRB. Like. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I loved a bit of Mumford, but this doesn't remind me of 2K9. No, I don't. Weep for yourself, my man, you'll never be as brave as the sun. That's sick, that one. I really fucked it up this time. Boobs. Don't mind this one, actually. Boobs when he's not festive. I just haven't met you yet. I'm not surprised that everything lasts. You broke my heart. Oh, his so voice many still times just reminds me of Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, I know. It's just got cheese in its top. Oh, thing. I love it. It's just like smooth like oh. butter. <laughs> butter. Oh, I oh, love yeah. this. Release my body. You know, I like that song, is it? I don't like. Oh, that song Spotlight. gives me yeah, such oh, good I vibes. I love that song. Every single day, guess I'm really missing, missing you. And the beat of this good. Yeah, yeah. Used to, used to, used to do. This song. Uh, oh, God. Dun, 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 dun. I used to have this on CD. Did you really? Yeah. Any Die Hard S Club 7 fans. If you haven't heard this, then you're not a Die Hard S Club 7 fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so good. To let it go, I put on a show. Body next to me, I'll take you away. Alright, guys, we're here. This is the gorgeous studio. This is the gorgeous great aunt Liz. <laughs> I didn't know you heard that. With her gorgeous photos, gorgeous work, <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous house, gorgeous L. This is the Gorgeous studio. What? Sorry. Everyone looking gold. And then over here, Niall and Baby Win just showed up. <laughs> so cute. Oh, you love Uncle Carl, don't you? Done. Looks so funny. I feel like I look like my grandma a bit with my hair like this. Helen's done like a kind of strawberry, <laughs> <laughs> strawberry makeup that Hayley Bieber recently did. That's like quite subtle, but it's quite pinky. It like fits the theme because it's all about love. My Harry Styles partner in crime. Is this? This isn't Harry Styles, though, is it? Oh, you are not a Harry Styles fan. <laughs> his gig that we went to. Right, I just wanted to quickly show you this before we finish the shoot. I have filmed basically nothing. It's how cool. Gym clothes are my love language. Very true. Uh, boo! <gasps> uh, boo! <gasps> boo! 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 Boo!
good morning. Mm. Morning, everyone. Mm. I slept quite well last night. Just one little wake up last night, wasn't it? High five, baby. High five. Guys, I have definitely just found my first grey hair. Can you see it? I feel like I've actually just found a few, but there's one really obvious one right there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but I just went down to Nile and was like, I'm going grey. <laughs> oh, it must be since becoming a mum and the lack of sleep. Anyway, good morning guys. I am just about to do my skin this morning. I always actually feel like after shoot days that it really needs a bit of zhuzhing because I've had so much on it the day before and I mean I do this anyway <laughs> but particularly after shoots it's just one of those really nice things that just feels nice <laughs> so I thought we could do it together but I'm just giving my face a little cleanse to start with and then we will pop a couple products on I don't think I'm going to do any makeup today because I kind of want to let it breathe after having so much on yesterday but we'll do like my no makeup make well yeah my no makeup makeup look where it's like just subtle still like to have a little bit of tint a little bit of glow and just a few products that i like to use on days where i don't don't want to wear makeup so one second i'll just wipe this off and we will get started we are clean and looking very tired <laughs> i'm really hoping this gives me a bit of life because i feel like i'm going gray <laughs> <laughs> my skin's looking dull and I just, I need a bit of rejuvenation. <laughs> Basically, I used three products and actually this part of the video is in partnership with Skin and Me. I took you guys through my evening skincare routine a few months back. Do you know what? I said back then that I feel like I'm sure you heard of Skin and Me because everyone talks about it. And for so long, I just was like, is it worth the hype? Is it a scam? <laughs> because it was just literally everywhere. But it definitely isn't, it is absolutely brilliant. Honestly, I started using Skin and Me when I was pregnant. I had quite difficult skin for me at the time. I had like sort of discoloring and very soreness, dryness around my mouth. This is the time I need to try something because nothing was working. It was like the only thing that really cleared it up. So basically what I was using at the time and I still am using now was the Daily Doser and I feel like this is just magic in a bottle, honestly. <laughs> so if you didn't see when I talked about this before, it's essentially a personalised formula. So you fill out a consultation online and their team of experts put together your own personal Daily Doser which has ingredients in it that are going to help you work towards your skin goals. So yeah, it's just great. I don't use this in the morning though. This is what I use before I go to bed. But I feel like this is honestly what has helped my skin. I do have a code, which I'll tell you at the end, to get this for just 4 99 But this isn't what I'm using now. Basically, they have a brand new product, which I've been using the past few weeks. So this is called the Brighten Boost Vitamin C Serum. Essentially what this helps with is giving your skin a brighten and a glow, which is definitely what I need today, but also just in general, I feel like my goal with skin is always just the brighter, the glowier, the better. <laughs> and this helps with that. It helps ease the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. I feel like it's one of those little bits of magic in a bottle again, but for the daytime. So essentially it's supposed to help you work towards those skin goals through the day, and then the daily doser is supposed to help through the night. Um, and it's designed by their team of experts again. I feel like it's such a good little product to add into your morning skincare. So what I do is pop this on first after I've cleansed. So I'll just pop a little bit on the hand and zhuzh it in. Got a really lovely sort of refreshing feel to it as well because it's quite light on the skin and it kind of sinks straight in and it's, it just, I don't know, it feels quite fresh and cooling. <laughs> So I'll just pop that on and then I will use some moisturiser just to pop on top. And then lastly, I'll just put a little bit of tint over the top just to give myself a little bit of colour because I need it. Everything is going grey. What is happening to me? <laughs> Do you know what? My sleep has improved for sure from when when was four months, but it's still just like living the broken sleep life. I need a bit of help. 
might have to go and book in a hair appointment too. <laughs> but yeah, that is just what I like to do. Make sure I show what it looks like as well, because it does give a really nice sort of subtle glow and it feels very hydrating those three products together. Yeah, if you would like to try the Skin of Me products, I do actually have a discount code. If you use Megan Launch, then you can get your first daily doser for $4.99. Anyway, I'm gonna sort my hair out now. Oh, because I'm going grey. Okay, I thought we could actually do our hair together and hopefully get this done before Wynn wakes up from her nap. I wouldn't usually do this today, to be honest, because I am having like a more down day where I'm just in tracksuit, no makeup. <laughs> but fine on days where I feel a bit more flat and just, you know, you just wake up and you're just like, <laughs> I'm having one of those days. I find that sometimes just trying to like put myself together a little bit helps a lot. So we're gonna judge up the hair too and give myself a little bit of a fake blow dry with my Dyson. <laughs> I thought I could just chat to you a tiny bit about what I've been doing with it that seems to be working well for my hair because I feel like with the air wrap they are so love or hate like some people just don't like them and think that they you know it doesn't work for them some people absolutely love them and I love mine <laughs> Niall got me mine for Christmas and I honestly just feel like my hair looks the best it ever has by me styling it not like a hairdresser you know that you come out the hairdressers and it feels really smooth and perfect and then you just can't ever get it anywhere near that level of niceness. <laughs> I feel like the Dyson is the closest I've ever got to feeling like I have nice hair. I don't have nice hair. <laughs> it's so thin and like flat and straight. I obviously have extensions in to kind of volumize it, but without them, there's not much going on. <laughs> I'm really hoping Wynn gets Niall's hair because he has great hair. So, the products that I use are these two guys. So we've got the Colour Wow bombshell volumizer now i'm not going to use this today because i usually use this just after it's wet yesterday on shoot actually the hairstylist did use this because she like re-spritzed my hair to make it wet but i think you need to have wet hair really to use the mousse then what i find is really really good is the color wow raise the root so i pop this and spritz it just in my roots before i style it and it seems to just give it a bit of grit. What I use as well is the Got To Be Hairspray. So I'll do like the whole of the bottom layer. So I always do mine in two sections. Obviously if you have thicker hair, you might have to do it in three. Once I've done all of this bottom layer, I will hairspray and then I'll do the top layer. And I always do the fringe last. So I'll hold that out the way till the end. Um, and then I'll hairspray that as well. So that is my tips, I guess, for my air wrap. So we'll go all the way up. And then I hold it there for like seven seconds. <laughs> and then once we've got to the seven, I'll hold the switch up to put the cold setting on and hold it there for 10 seconds on the cold. Then I switch it off. I'll trust the process here because I know I look like a old fashioned princess. <laughs> if it was all like this, but it needs to be really tight, and then it drops really, really fast. So I used to kind of get worried about that because I used to love like a really loose beachy wave and I was kind of like, I just don't like that sort of princess wave look, but trust the process. <laughs> it drops really quick anyway, and we lose basically all the curl. <laughs> but it does give that nice sort of bouncy, flicky, blow dry kind of effect, even when it falls. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea I just wanna say that I feel that our love is real We are almost done. So all I do at the end is obviously a friend. We are definitely not leaving her like this. <laughs> So I usually grab both sides together and what I do is bring it towards my face for this one. So when I'm doing the two sides, you can change here the direction that you're curling. I always do away from face, but when I do the fringe, we actually go towards face. So basically, I'm going to get her on, <laughs> grab all the bits in. 
So we hold her there, then we're going to push the cold up and hold it there for 10 seconds on the cold. One sec. <laughs> you probably can't hear me. But the reason, apparently, that you put the cold... <coughs> Look at me. The reason that apparently you put the cold setting on is because that is essentially what sort of sets it so that it holds for longer, which I didn't realise until I spoke to to the hairstylist yesterday on shoot. No, I look really weird right now. <laughs> but again, it's gonna really drop really fast. Basically, what I do is not brush through it <laughs> 10 minutes, and then I will kind of comb through it with my hands with some oil, and then I will comb through it usually as well with like one of those wide combs. But I wanna kind of leave it to just sit like that really tight for 10 minutes. My Dyson Air wrap. <laughs> Tutorial. I look like from I'm from the 70s right now with a really gaffy frame. Baby, when do 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 baby, when do 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 baby. Oh, I could just eat you, but then I wouldn't have you, so I don't really want to eat you. But I just oh, how do you describe this feeling? Right, Wynn has just woken up from a nap, so she is full of beans, aren't you, baby? And we are about to make some meal prep together for breakfast. I am going to make these preppable breakfast cookies from Nell's cookbook, of course. <laughs> We've actually been having these ones most mornings recently, the berry cheesecake overnight oats. And as much as I love them, I do feel like a little bit of a change up. So we're going to go for these. And if you love cookies like me, these are just the best when you wake up in the morning, eat a cookie. <laughs> I just get so excited to wake up and have my breakfast. And essentially all you need is banana, oats, chocolate chips, peanut butter and cinnamon. Whack it all together, pop it into four balls. Sorry, Wynne is desperate to get it on herself right now. <laughs> Carry on? Okay. <laughs> Such a yummy breakfast, so we're gonna prep them and I will show you when they're done but yeah they're just such a nice easy if you're on the go you need to grab quickly or you're just busy around the house they're just such a nice breakfast so that's the plan isn't it bab since when did i have a teenager look at this it blows my mind how fast she changes she's just like a little person all of a sudden she's just sitting up doing her thing she picks what toys she wants she plays with them <laughs> she throws them about she starts going on her front and crawling honestly she just it just blows my mind so fun to watch <laughs> but when i see her like this hi we're talking about you hi baby <laughs> hi is that a little smirk should we have some of your rice kale and cheese after i'll show you what she has for some of her weaning it's adorable breakfast cookies are done they smell stunning i need to let them actually cool down but it's not actually breakfast time anymore so these are for tomorrow onwards and baby win is about to have her lunch and today on the menu we have some Kaylee rice with cheese. Cheesy rice with kale actually sounds much nicer, doesn't it? This is just one of the meals that we've been trying her on. We kind of mix it up. I did a few recipes from Joe Wicks's Wean in 15 book and they were really good, but we kind of just play around with flavors. But she seems to really like rice and cheese and she likes oats. Don't you, Bubba? You had oats with grapes this morning. That was yummy, wasn't it? But to make this, all we did was popped some basmati rice on and steamed some kale and then popped the kale in a blender when it was steamed and then mixed the blended kale with the basmati rice when it was cooked and then mixed in some cheese and it's very yummy isn't it baby in joe wicks's book actually what he said he did was just introduced a different green veg every day by itself in the first two weeks we tried that, <laughs> she was not a fan of any of it, so. Oh, was that good? That was a very enthusiastic mouthful, baby. Definitely completely forgot to show you my hair. <laughs> but this is 
how it's fallen now in the past hour. So it will usually stay mainly like this then for most of the day. It will drop a little bit more, but this is more of the look I was aiming for versus the 70s vibe it was at first. Oh, by the way, please can you send me some motivation? Because mine isn't there anymore. Right, hi guys. Me and Baz have just come down to the gym because I want to do some abs. I'm not gonna lie, my energy is so low today. I don't know why, but all I've thought about all day is my bath at the end of the day. <laughs> I actually go to the gym this morning, but I wanted to do abs there and I just couldn't get myself to do it. So we're gonna do it here together. Thought we could do it kind of like a class. So I haven't actually taught a class for a while. So I did do a lot of class teaching when I was a PT. And then during lockdown, I kind of taught them almost every single day on Instagram. But it's been some time and I actually have an event on the weekend, which I am teaching a class at. So we're gonna do a little bit of practice here together. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice as well if you are watching and you just wanna do like a five minute core focus challenge then you can just join in so you don't need anything literally just find a spot if you want to add some weight you can there's one exercise we're going to do which i might add a tiny weight to but if you don't have any you don't actually need to or you could just grab yourself like a bottle of water or something basically what we're going to do is a ladder set so essentially we have five exercises we have a five minute timer and we're gonna do each exercise for two reps each, straight after each other. And then we will go again with the same exercises, but we'll do four each. And then we'll go again, six each. So it's gonna go up in evens and we'll just keep going until we do the five minutes. There is no kind of rest set, but if you need to just grab a drink and then jump back in when you're ready and just sort of take a breath then please do that just thought it'd be fun if it's not your vibe then you can just skip the next five minutes of the vlog <laughs> if you are joining me grab yourself a spot we have a push-up plan to start so you're going to start in a high plank come down onto the forearms and back up then we've got some leg raises so we're coming down lifting the legs up and lowering you're not bringing those feet ever to the ground then we're going to do some plank pull throughs and this is where if you have a small weight you can include it so you're going to come back into your high plank and you're going to grab something. That's what's in the way. So you're going to grab whatever it is and pull it across and keep that core strong the whole time. Then we're going to do a hand to foot reach. So you want the legs off the floor the whole time and you're going to reach and swap side. And then lastly, we have some scissors. So you're going to come down and you're going to scissor the leg nice and slowly. Okay, in three, two, and one, let's go. All right, start with our plank push-ups. Keep that core strong. Okay, that's two reps. We're going down into our leg raise. So you're going to bring those legs up slowly, lower back down, not touching the floor each time. Okay, let's move. <laughs> into our plank pull through so bring whatever you're holding across and then again okay then we're going back down into our hand foot reach so you're going to lift that opposite leg that's one rep and that's two reps okay now onto our scissors so you're going to scissor scissor okay then we start again so we're going back into our push-up plank so coming up Going down onto the forearms, this time we've got four reps. Okay, and relax. Moving into our leg raises. This is the leg raise this is. <laughs> so lying down, lift those legs up, slowly lower down, not touching the floor. Get out of the face. Okay, one more. And four. Ooh. Talking through an hour workout is not easy. <laughs> okay, we're going into our plank pull throughs. So back into our high plank. We're going to pull it across. Keep that core still the whole time. Oh, three and four. Okay, coming down. Hand to foot touches. Four reps. Let's go. Two. Three. Okay, now we're doing our scissors. So 
One, two, three, and four. Okay. To six reps per move. So we're back into our push up climb. My mat is slowly turning towards you. Okay, one arm down, and up. Keep breathing through. Four, five, and six. Wow. Okay, leg raises, guys, six reps. I'm doing about halfway. One, two, three, four. Don't let those legs rest at the bottom. Five and six. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> We're on to our plank pull throughs again. Get that core nice and strong. Pull it across whatever you're using, but you can just pretend. It's more just that core still. Five and six. Oh, okay. Back down into our hands and foot reach. Six reps. Let's go. One, two, four, five. And six. Oh, that will get to me. <laughs> okay, scissors, six reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we're back to the start. Eight reps per move. Hopefully, this will be the last round. <laughs> okay, back into our push up planks. Eight reps. Let's go. One. that she's getting involved. You and the monkey treatment. <laughs> we always say blue reminds us of eel, don't she? Yeah. Oh, bother. <laughs> <laughs> That's blue. That's really rude, isn't it, blue bell? Oh, look at them. Winnie and, oh, look, Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. And who's he? Tigger. <laughs> it's Tigger. <laughs> it's Piglet. <laughs> I <laughs> does. I don't know what's up with Baz, but he just seems to have a bit of a sort of aura, like a farts aura. <laughs> Wherever he goes, it just does his farts a bit. <laughs> oh, it's really he's not, fun! He's not smelling too bad now. <laughs> but that makes me think he is actually farting then. Oh no, he feels bad. Yeah, he doesn't like he stumbles. stinks. He's got to just finish his bag. <laughs> Bless him, you ordered like two massive sacks of the food. <laughs> doesn't agree with him. <laughs> it did agree with him for ages and then suddenly it doesn't. All right, it's book decision time. Who else read this? And this, Elmer. 
Did you ever read Where the Wild Things Are? Did you say no? No. Did you not? <laughs> Did you not? <laughs> that, 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 well, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks a bit like the Gruffalo, but I read the Gruffalo. No, that's a classic. I'm surprised you. I'm surprised you didn't read that one. Hungry Caterpillar, obviously. We're going on a bear hunt. Was another, another of my faves. And one snowy night. Oh, and this one. This let her choose. Can't you sleep, little bear? What do you want, Win? Hi, who came to tea was a bit past our generation i think but it's really popular now that one yeah i didn't get it though it was a bit bit weird <laughs> a bit unrealistic he Tiger. drank all of the water from the tap so she couldn't have a bath <laughs> to be honest if i'm being critical the ending was a little bit of a letdown and he never because, did yeah they all, they all, they all this stuff he never, never came back, back. <laughs> but he never did right win which one do you want what one do you want baby oh <laughs> Tiger who came to tea. <laughs> Tiger who came to tea. Judith Kerr. I always read the author. Once there was a little girl called Sophie. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. <laughs> I cannot tell you how excited I am to get in this bath. <laughs> We've got Disney Plus at the ready. We've got all of the ducks joining us too. <laughs> Which does slightly take away the peaceful, serene vibe a bath. Is supposed to give but we shall deal. <laughs> Wind's actually probably gonna jump in for a few minutes too so I'm sure she'll have a play but anyway I am gonna finish this vlog here. Thank you so much for joining and watching. And if you do want to try the Skin and Me deal of the 4 99 for your first daily doser then you can use my code MeganLaunch to get it but anyway I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you very, very soon.